Welcome back guys to another episode of my Factorio Let's Play. So today we are going to do like all the train related stuff for this thing down here, this monstrosity. Um, Yeah, I think we should build like the station first. We need like nine belts of output which is super inconvenient. Uh, we have obviously 12 belts here uh, to work with essentially. Let's just loop these. Yeah, this is no way going to work. Um, let's just loop these around here. Like that. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so now we are going to just use the special trick I showed you in the last episode of copying everything and holding shift while doing so, so now we can get out the rail so we can perfectly place that on top of here and here as well as here and there and here. Cool. So now we can bring these all together essentially. Um, Uh, yeah. No, let's just build that by hand real quick. I mean, yeah, it's just 12 uh, lanes of, of stuff here, basically, of copper. So, nothing too exciting, you know? Oh, jeez. Yeah, we need a 12 to 9 balance. Uh, I'm going to find some of uh, one of those, like, uh, quickly. I don't know. That's going to be a little bit of a difficult one, I suppose, but... Maybe we just have to build like uh, our own crude one. Okay. Yeah, that was it with belts from my end, but well. So 12 by 9 belts, so that's going to be fun. Let's just uh, do a quick search here. Factorio. 12 to 9 balance. Huh. 12 bell balance request and factory for maybe we will. Oh boy. Oh jeez, yeah, this is not what I'm looking for, I think. This is also super old. Um, let's just uh, do something on my own here, I think. Oh, factory balances from GitHub, interesting. Uh, what do we have in here? Uh, what? Wait a second, let's just do like uh, that right here. Am I seeing this right? Collection of, oh yeah, collection of factorial blueprints for balances. Each balance is an instance of factorial blueprint blueprint class. Could you support one, one, two, eight, eight. Yeah, from factorial prints. Maybe we'll find something on here actually. <clears throat> Just a competitive with Series 16, right? Uh, yeah. Um, factorial prints. Um, search 12. Okay. Uh, search text belt balancer. Yeah, that's what I'm searching for. But uh, most recent, yeah. But I, maybe maybe there's like more to it. You know, oh God. Upgrade belt planner. Uh, yeah. Um, Twelve. 
12. And loading station, no. This site is seriously glitched. Um, yeah, exactly. Most favorite, favorite, I don't know. Yeah, a little, little weird, I, I guess. Um, yeah, let's just do something on my own here, basically. Yeah, the thing is, like, we need to go to, like, 9, which is super inconvenient. Um, yeah, that is actually really a bit of a problem. I mean, we could just do, like, a 5 by 4 and then, like, uh, 4 by f no, what? This is 12. So we need to have like a 6 to 5 and a 6 to 4 basically. Um, yeah, I know it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. So uh, six, 6 by uh, 5, this could go over here maybe. And then a 6 by 4. Over here, yeah, I mean, this already looks like a professional solution, so... Uh, no, 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 this is not going to work like that. Um, oh boy, let's just do uh, something like this then. I mean, this also kind of works. And now we have to connect this all over which is going to be lots of fun, but I think we should be able to just blueprint all of that. Or not really, actually. Uh, yeah, but at least blueprint it a little bit. That's already a lot better than nothing. Okay, now we can just put that in by hand. That is also quickly done. Cool, so now we just have to set up the train, basically. Oh yeah. That's why bots are so nice in some scenarios. I mean, I'm like not super a bot lover because that kind of takes uh, the challenge out of it a lot of times, you know, but it's like for high throughput scenarios, it's like a lot easier to work with and also a lot better for UPS. Uh, yeah, U UPS being basically the updates per second, so how often Victorio is able to refresh the simulation a second, basically. Um, but yeah, we're still running uh, like a very stable 6 UPS, like this is rock solid up there. I mean, I could do like a bit of a, of a stress test at some point where I just like up the game speed, which essentially just uh, raises the limit for the UPS, and uh, then everything is going quicker, but you can also kind of see like how fast everything is able to go, and then you can still see if everything is able to keep up. Oh, Yeah, I definitely was not uh, paying enough attention right there. This could have been uh, pretty deadly, actually. Um, Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I can go like straight down. Yep, there's definitely enough space for, for doing so. I might run a little bit out of rails again, but that's just kind of normal at this point. I mean you Oh yeah, that was that was fast. Yeah, I mean you can never have like enough rails on you. Like my inventory isn't like infinite, you know, like that's kinda kind of a problem sometimes. Yeah, maybe we will need this rail line for like other stuff in the future as well, but I'm I'm not sure. But it's nice to have it. Just like it's nice to have the uh, control and the shortcut. That saved my bacon already too many times. Okay. Yeah, like at this point, I'm not sure how we could all manage to live without these tools earlier. And as far as I'm aware, they're like also 
Dang. Uh, jeez. Help. Ah. I hate it. R. Right, yeah. That's the problem when you play, like, multiple games. Uh, shortcuts just are different, you know. Yeah, I mean, I was playing, like, Eno now a little bit, and just super weird, like, you have, like, your uh, point and colon, comma, I don't know, for, like, rotating, and with, like, Q, you get, like, your deconstruction. I think I even put that on, like, Q or whatever, but, like, jeez, like, the original mapping was, I think, even weirder. I think you, yeah, exactly. I think originally you just moved around with like the uh, arrow keys and with WASD, which I also thought was kind of weird. I mean, it's like a super old series at this point, so. Uh, yeah, what am I doing? Uh, kind of makes sense that they like kind of keep these um, older controls, maybe, but for a newbie to the series, definitely a little weird to me, at least. Um, yeah, I think like W or something that was even like deconstruction. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure anymore at this point, but you know, I just thought it was a little bit on a weird side. Yeah, overall, because I'm doing like something boring now, maybe I can talk about it a little bit. My, my, my sort of short review about NO 1800, um, in short, it's a great game for even for someone who's new to the series or and i mean for someone who is not new to these types of games like me obviously um but yeah i thought it was a pretty fun game i played like the tutorial campaign first like went like full tutorial mode basically and after that i restarted actually i didn't play like the same map i then started with like uh the a sandbox with like no guidance basically and Worked out pretty well, actually. I mean, yeah, well is maybe kind of the wrong word. Once I got to like artisans, I think I was just like so deep in the red and I like lost money like crazy. But then, yeah, I don't think this was like super well explained in the campaign, but I'm also not sure anymore, honestly, with like how you actually make money, right? Uh, so it took me a couple of restarts, but now in my, my last game, I was able to get pretty far. Uh, also completely annihilated like two of the parties like the, the medium AI and the and one of the easy AIs So that was also kind of fun But now I just uh, didn't have like enough uh, uh, How's it called enough influence exactly so I Now can't do a lot of stuff anymore. I can't like like, that's the thing, I couldn't, like, make it uh, and annihilate, like, the last AI. And now I was also kind of, like, not that motivated to go on with playing it, so, yeah. Because I basically owned all islands, but, like, five or six in the end, so... Yeah, that's obviously, like, a huge investment in uh, influence, and I don't think you can, like get rid of the islands again, so you can get, like, the influence back that you invested, basically, in the islands, so. And, I mean, I got all the islands because I annihilated all the uh, AI opponents, which was maybe also not the smartest move. I mean, the medium one actually uh, declared war on me, so, uh, yeah. I mean, you could probably say that was my own fault because I was, like, buying their shares like crazy, so they basically weren't able to make any money anymore. I uh, bought, like, all these shares from, like, the main island and many shares from all the other islands, so, yeah. That kind of made it difficult for them to then earn, like, any money, and that's why they probably decided to... Uh, declare war on me and I actually kind of wanted to stop like playing at this point then because uh, they actually were uh, more powerful than me at this point uh, like looking at their like military and uh, economy stats they were just like better than me <laughs> so 
Yeah, but I managed to win in the end, so that was kind of cool. I was able to like take over because I bought like the shares from some of the islands. And so that was making it possible for me to then kind of win, you know. So they were already weakened and were basically making no money at all. And no, I don't want to make an iTunes update right now. Thank you. Um, yeah, okay. Glad that we figured that one out as well. Yeah, so in the end I can just say Anno is a great game, but I kind of got bored now in the end game. Or late game, I guess. Um, not because there was nothing to do anymore. I mean, there are like still those like investors, which I only have a few of. And I could still optimize it obviously production. But the thing kind of is you don't... Like you don't have to load your, your stats. Like in Factorio I can look at my stats and I can see, hey, I'm making like so much of this. I consume so much of this stuff. I can kind of just like easily calculate what I need. And that I feel that is a little difficult to do in NO. Like there's like any production graphs or anything like that. It's just, it feels like I have to do like a lot of guesswork. So yeah, it's, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I know kind of still playing it uh, because I'm also kind of done with the game now, I think. But I mean, I'm probably going to get into it at some point again. And uh, yeah, I will certainly enjoy that again, probably. Okay, now we can actually get the train running, I guess. Uh, yeah, then we will also put in some uh, things there. Let's first name the station, maybe that would be helpful, probably. In base, let's just say base item equals, oh god. How are they called? Uh, how are they even like called in game normally? Uh, low density structure, exactly. I uh, had a little bit of a, of a, of a problem there. Um, item equals low density. Uh, that was the Windows key. Uh, structure. Oh, that's a structure. Okay. Oh, nice. That actually worked. Great. Um. Add this, and when you are empty, you are allowed to go, and time passed can be like, I don't know, 120 or whatever. And then there is the good old out uh, copper mine here. Makes it harder to read if it's not like written there, but hey, um, empty cargo, and one minute or so passed. No, full cargo. Full cargo, or uh, yeah, doesn't matter, but looks better, I think. Uh, she's also fueled, so uh, yeah. Let's do your thing while I'll plant some uh, some radars down here. I think that sounds like a fantastic plan, to be honest. Radars just make uh, seeing everything a little bit easier, so uh, that's why I like them. Yeah, we don't have to put one down there, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just a few radars here. I'm actually not sure like how many we have in total now. We probably have like a ton at this point. Um, yeah, let's see, we have 312, that's actually less than I thought, and they only snack up about 100 megawatts or so of power. Um, yeah, and there is our full copper train now, isn't that beautiful? Well, I think it totally is, so, um, yeah. Okay, so there is our copper flowing now, isn't that nice? Uh, 
Oh yeah, full belts of copper. Uh oh. Yeah. Was I like drunk or what? I don't know, but uh, that kind of uh, looks like it. I don't know. Dang, that like that is a weird mistake. Uh, yeah, let's maybe just try and cut everything off here first. That's some BS that I built right there. Oh god. Um, I now have actually really mixed feelings about how the entire uh, 1000 sets a minute build that I'm currently working on is going because when I hook everything in, everything is probably going to fail miserably. Jeez. Uh, um, uh, dang, still kind of a quick ish fix, I guess. Um, yeah, obviously with uh, splitter. Thank you. Okay. Let's take this a little bit bigger so we have uh, the uh, sort of exact template. We can get rid of you for now. Uh, the fuck? Let's just try this again. Okay, uh, yeah, this looks a little bit uh, better now. Maybe we can put this thing right, uh, right up there now. Okay, cool. Uh, better than nothing, at least, I, I guess. Yeah, do an auto save. It is always safe to do a save, you know. Okay. Put you back in. Oh no, my inventory is full. Yeah, I'm not sure if that like went right back onto the belt. Uh, but at least now it seems to work, and that's the important part. Whoop! Uh, whoop! <laughs> Great. That's like a pretty nifty increase, that's for sure. And with that, we are kind of done here for the day, I think. For like the entire build here now. Oh boy, like this isn't even supplying copper fast enough at this point. Let's go for like a right here. I mean, yeah, this is going to back off. Obviously, we are not going to use all the copper all the time. So that's just... Uh, the thing, you know, I mean, we only, or is it, geez, maybe I actually do need a second copper train, that would be actually pretty nuts, I mean, it is not the shortest uh, distance, you know, maybe a second one would be, like, safer, well, we'll have to see, we'll have to see, definitely, I mean, yeah, this definitely has to take quite the detour here as well, like, that's not the shortest route, that's for sure, but I mean, the refill here should be also pretty fast. Yeah, I would know if we like throw in a ton of trains for the copper here. I mean, we'll have to redo this all at some point anyways, once we're going to go for like 4,000 that's a minute or something like that. But yeah, because we basically have like no stacker at all there and like all the nuclear stuff below. Yeah, it's not the optimal for sure. Hmm. Well, yeah, this surely is not the shortest route ever. Huh. It goes like that and whoop, that entire like detour thing there. But hey, okay, but now we're done here for the day, uh, for reals this time. So thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next episodes. Until then, have a great time. See you guys then. Bye bye.